Okay, so the variable valve timing isn't engaging. And now they've changed what variable valve timing well, actuators. I need to know a couple of things. Yeah. Or he needs to check a couple of things. Yeah. What makes him certain that the variable valve timing is not engaging? There's four camshafts in there, two mm -hmm. inlet, two exhaust. Yeah. All variable. Well, if you had the live scan time. If none would... of them are advancing or retarding, then there's something going on with oil pressure. That's the only thing it can be. Well, not the only thing it can be. Lots of other things that it can be, but. You know, if one camshaft is not advancing, or one camshaft's not doing what it's supposed to do, yes, then you'll you'll certainly go to that camshaft changes. Expect the actuator. It could be the yeah. actuator. It could be the uh, oil uh, lack of oil to the to the actuator, mm -hmm. lack of um, oil pressure to it. That is. Yeah. Um, or it could be that the actuator is actually jammed. They've got a mechanical. That pin. Pin. Yeah. That it's locks the pressure. actuator yeah. when there is no oil pressure. So on initial startup, it's actually locked mm -hmm. in the off position. Now, so as soon as it gets oil pressure, yeah. that pin releases, yes. or should release if it's not jammed, mm -hmm. and start advancing the camshaft. But your first it's question on. was, how do you know it's not engaging VVT? Yeah, well, I, I don't know how he's determining that. I'm not sure what he's using to determine that. But if you had live data... Well, he's saying we've got low power. That was what was originally well, saying. Well, low power would could be, be... It could be a number, a lot of things. Yeah. But let's say, let's say that it is a valuable valve timing issue. Mm -hmm. You should be able to see it on live data. On a, on a good scan tool, you should be able to see what each inlet cam is doing, what each exhaust cam is doing, and whether they're advancing or not at the different rev range. Right, so there's not like a... a display that says VVT is engaged. It's just because, can you measure the oil pressure going to them? No, it's all mechanical. Actually, so you're looking you can, at the timing. There is a point on one of the heads, I'm not sure which side head there is, there is, a, there is a point there where you can actually screw in a master oil pressure gauge, and that'll test the oil pressure at the front of the head, which will check to see whether it's got oil pressure going to the variable cam timing. Okay. So that's, a, that's actually another good idea, to test the oil pressure at um, there is a point at the front of the head, I'll have, to, I'll, have to, I'll have to probably take a photo of it, but there is an oil pressure uh, point where you can screw an oil pressure gauge into the test okay. on the front of the head, on one, one side. Then, but then there could be a number of things. The oil yeah. feed to the, to the actual variable cam gear has got an, a little screen, there's a screen on each side, like a filter mm -hmm. in each head that captures any crap coming through and only clean oil goes into the variable cam gear because the biggest stuff up of variable cam gears is dirty oil, crap through the oil, jamming the system up. Okay. So they filter the oil that goes to the variable cam gear via mm -hmm. two little filters that go in the front of the head. Yep. Each head's got one. Right, and so if that's blocked, you're going to have no If they're pressure. blocked, you're not going to have oil pressure there. So oil pressure will be fine them. to the engine, yep. but it won't get oil pressure there, which means that that will not work properly. And that would be before the four, before so all four would stop working. If it was yes, blocked. yes, correct. Because that filter is before that supplies yeah. oil to inland exhaust cam on each side. Yeah, oh, you got two. One, you got exhaust. two. One, one on right bank, one on left bank. Yeah. Okay. And then when you're with the scan tool, looking at it live, say you're dri maybe you're not on a dyno, you're driving the car. Yeah. You can see the timing advance and retard, and if it's not doing that, well, the then you know it's not engaging. Yeah. The best way is to record it. Mm -hmm. The data, record the data, and then analyze it after when you stop to see whether it has advanced or not. Right. And if one of them is not advancing and the others are, mm -hmm. then you've got to investigate look at that, that individual one. one. Investigate that one camshaft. But then if they're both not working, then you go before well, that potentially oil pressure. Correct. Yeah. 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 It could be as simple as a lot of silicon blocking the oil way up. Okay. It could be that there's a lot of crap that has gone into the oil, into the feed of the cam sprocket or mm -hmm. the variable cam gear. Mm. The reason to dismantle, you dismantle them, you've got to be really careful. There's a lot of little components in there and springs and valves and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and just clean it. A really good clean. You don't need to replace it, as I said. To... Yeah. And then, so you haven't seen many issues with VVT before, have you? No, I don't do a hell of a lot of them, but I've never seen one. I haven't seen one with a problem yet, no. Yeah. And because they're, they're talking about high reliability cam timing controllers. So what's the cam timing controller doing? Because isn't, isn't it all mechanically? Yeah, what they're talking same? about is the yeah. cam. Well, this I would call the cam controller the ECU. The yeah. computer yeah. controls it. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. But what actually allows it, the, the part that's doing the work is the variable cam gear. It's doing the work. But that's all it. mechanical. But it's, it's all took mechanical. Took out it's, apart. All, it's just the oil pressure. oil pressure. What's controlling that oil pressure? That's some sort the of... solenoid on the front of yeah. the timing case. Oh, that pin. That pin. With a sol with a, a solenoid. Yeah. And that solenoid's controlled by the controlled ECU. Controlled by the ECU. Yeah. And it's reading the data off where the position is of the camshaft. And going, all right. Off the camshaft sensor on the side yep. and the computer says okay this rpm i need to advance Just, it or yep. retard it and if mm -hmm. it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing yes um then you know there's there's obviously a so what's issue. a but higher it, reliability because there's no there's no there's no full codes coming up it's not an electronic problem it's more an oil issue or some sort of mechanical problem so oil or mechanical is where the problem might be if it's the problem mm -hmm. if it's playing up now what's a high reliability cam timing controller then isn't that your ECU? I don't understand. Where, oh, I'd say the what controller? they're talking about is the actual, there may be an improved version of the cam sprockets. The pin? Not the pin. Or solenoid? The actual yeah. sprocket. The whole, the, the whole sprocket? The whole sprocket. Oh, so the, the pin part we took apart, yeah. it took the bolts out of, yeah. and it's got a mechanical yeah. actuator yeah. and a pin inside it. You yeah. can get a whole new one of them. Maybe countries. someone, I don't know of yet, but maybe yeah. someone makes better ones. But right. I don't see anything wrong with the factory ones. Yeah, you just run factory ones, right? So the main thing is that they're looked after and they're clean. Yeah, and you can service them. You can service them, you can pull them apart. Yeah. Beautifully. But there's a lot of little bits in there, you've got to be careful what how you reinstall Re it, yes. reassemble it. Yeah. Because there's some critical parts in there that have got to be done, put in right. Okay, cool. That, okay. That's it. I've got to get away. Thank you. Have fun. Have yeah. a good day. Bye.